Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to look at uh, Spinner. Uh, it's a new style. Uh, we're going to use SolidWorks to create it. A little more proportional and we're using the circular pattern which makes it a little bit easier to create. Well, let's get started. Uh, first we're going to open up SolidWorks and we're going to create uh, a new part. And then we're going to sketch a couple of uh, circles. Uh, the first one is going to be 22.2 millimeters. Uh, the normal bearing size is 22. Uh, we're putting that 0.2 in there just to give a little bit of a smaller uh, radius to make sure we get a nice tight, uh, nice tight fit. Uh, actually, this is going to be 0.2 larger. When we do extrude the plastic, uh, we get about a one tenth on either side. So we have to actually increase uh, the diameter of that circle by 0.2. Otherwise, at, at just 22, it, the fit would be too tight. We'd be requiring to remove too much plastic to get it in. And then an outside ring of uh, 29 millimeters. Uh, that's going to give us a, a pretty good depth uh, so that we produce a pretty good or pretty solid spinner. Next, uh, we're going to go ahead and extrude that. And we're going to extrude to 7 millimeters. The, this typical skateboard bearing is uh, 22 uh, meters in diameter and 7 meters uh, high or thick. Uh, next, we're going to draw one more uh, circle. Uh, at 22.2 and then we'll draw a, a second one at 29 and we're going to put those on a center line that we're going to draw from the center of that first circle straight up. Uh, make sure it's perpendicular and then draw that second circle and then we're going to put a space in between here of 26 millimeters. That'll make it overlap uh, just enough so that the two become one when we print it. Uh, after we've extruded that, we're going to again flip that to make sure it's inside that first circle or the two are, are uh, merged together. Then we're going to create, a, using a circular pattern, we're going to create two more circles uh, so that we have a nice symmetry here of about 120 degrees separated uh, using the uh, circular pattern and in our center circle uh, to create this uh, uh, idea of, of, of having it uh, extrude around a circular pattern around the center circle. Next uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, finish that and then put some fillets in here to kind of add some more plastic to the to where these are joined. We'll just fillet this inside line where the two, two rings meet. And we're going to use a 10 millimeter fillet. Next uh, go ahead and look at that. You can see it's it's pretty well proportioned and uh, you get a nice uh, Nice clean symmetry of 120 degrees uh, offset for each of these circles. Looks pretty good. Next, I'm going to go ahead and fillet that outer edge. And this fillet is going to only be 3.5 millimeters on both sides. Remember, it's 7 millimeters thick, so a 3.5 on, on both sides gives it a, a nice clean fillet all the way around. You can see we've got a nice, nice clean fillet. Then all we need to do to finish this is add some bearings. Uh, usually we add a, a nice bearing here in the center, maybe a yellow jacket or a red bones. And then we put some other bearings around the outer side, a little cheaper bearings because the spin is going to take place on that center bearing. Well, that's it for, for this one. Uh, thanks again. Remember, we did this uh, using SolidWorks. Thanks very much for watching.